Common Fractions Part 1 Equivalent Fractions One half and two quarters are called equivalent fractions. When we write equivalent fractions, the rule is what we times the bottom number by, you must times the top number by. Question 1 Complete to write equivalent fractions. Remember, times the top and bottom by the same number. If you struggle, draw arrows to show what you have multiplied top and bottom by. Let's look at some examples. For this question, we times 2 by 3 is 6. Therefore, 1 times 3 is 3. A half is equal to 3 sixths. Let's look at B. 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 times 2 is 2. Therefore, 1 third is 2 sixths. Let's look at this question. 3 times 2 is 6, so at the top, 2 times 2 is 4. Let's look at this question. 3 times 3 is 9. So, 1 times 3 is 3. We have times the top and the bottom by 3. Lastly, 3 times 3 is 9, and 2 times 3 is 6. Pause this video to complete question 1 by yourself. Press play when you are ready for question 2. Question 2. Again, complete to write equivalent fractions. This time, we must divide top and bottom by the same number. Let's look at A. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. Let's look at B. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. Directly beneath it, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Pause this video to complete question 2 by yourself. Use the memo to mark this entire page by yourself. Remember to correct any of your mistakes. Question 3. Complete to write equivalent fractions. A. We times by 2 and we times by 2, so the answer is 4 sixths. For B, we times by 2 at the bottom, so we times by 2 at the top and my answer is 6 eighths. For C, we divide by 2 at the bottom, so we divide by 2 at the top and the answer is 2 thirds. For D, we divide by 5 at the bottom. So we divide by 5 at the top, and the answer is 2. Pause this video to complete question 3 by yourself. Question 4. Complete to write equivalent fractions. Pause this video to complete question 4 by yourself. Question 5. Complete to write equivalent fractions. A half we times by 2, so we times by 2. Then 2 quarters we times by 2 to get 8, so we times the top by 2. Let's look at B. 1 third we times by 2 at the bottom, so we times by 2 at the top to get 2 sixths. Now from 6 to 9, there is no number that we can multiply thereby, so we look back at my first fraction. From 3 to 9, I times by 3, and 1 times 3 is 3. So let's look at this question. I times by 2, so I times by 2. Then, from 4 to 12, I times by 3, so I times by 3. 
Pause this video to complete question 5. Use the memo to mark this page by yourself. Remember to correct any of your mistakes. Shading fractional parts. Question 1. Shade one half of each of the following figures. For A, we are going to shade two out of the four pieces. For B, we are going to shade four out of the eight pieces. Pause this video to complete question one by yourself. Question two. Shade one quarter of each of the following figures. For a hint, one quarter is equal to two eighths. For 2a, we're going to shade one out of the four pieces. For 2b, if we look at my top row, I've got four pieces. I'm going to shade one out of those four. And at the bottom row, I have another four pieces. And I'm going to shade another one out of those four. So in total, I've shaded two out of eight pieces. Pause this video to complete question 2. Question 3. Shade 3 quarters of each of the following figures. Let's look at A. I'm going to shade 3 out of the 4 pieces. For B, my top row I have 4 equal pieces. I'm going to shade 3 of them. For my bottom row I have another 4 equal pieces. I'm going to shade 3 out of the 4 equal pieces. Pause this video to complete question 3 by yourself. Question 4 and question 5. Pause this video to complete these questions by yourself. Question 6. Order these numbers from biggest to smallest. A. My biggest number here is 1. Then three quarters, then a half is equal to two quarters, so that's my next biggest number, then one quarter, then zero. Pause this video to complete question six. Use the memo to mark this entire page. Remember to correct your answers. Number lines. Write the fraction represented by each letter on the number line under the letter. A. From 0 to 1, I have divided the whole into 1, 2, 3 equal parts. Therefore, I am working with thirds. A is 1 third and B is 2 thirds. Let's look at C. From 0 to 1, I have divided my whole into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal parts. Therefore, I am working with sixths. A is going to be 2 sixths, then that's 3 sixths, B is 4 sixths, and C you can erase. It is a mistake. Pause this video to complete question 1 by yourself. Question 2. Mark one third on the number line below. There are 1, 2, 3 equal spaces. Therefore, yar is one third and I'm going to mark it. Let's look at 4. Mark a half. 1 third and 5 sixths on the number line below. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal spaces. One, one half is exactly halfway or 3 sixths, so I'm going to mark it. 1 third is equal to 2 sixths. 1 sixth, 2 sixths. So yeah is one third. And lastly, five sixths is going to be yeah. Pause this video to complete the rest of this page by yourself. Use the memo to mark your answers. 
and remember to correct anything that you got wrong. Worksheet 7. Simplest form. 4 eighths is equal to 2 quarters and it is equal to 1 half. We say that 4 eighths is 1 half in its simplest form. We've divided 8 by 4 to get 2 and 4 by 4 to get 1. The rule is to divide the top and the bottom by the same number until you can't anymore. Question 1. Write each fraction in its simplest form. For A, we divide by 4, we divide by 4. Let's look at B. We can divide top and bottom by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. Let's look at C. We can divide 4 and 6 by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. Lastly, let's look at this question. 16 and 20. I can divide both numbers by 2. So I get 8 tenths. Now, 8 out of 10 is still not in its simplest form. I can still divide top and bottom by 2, so I get 4 out of 5. I could also have done this in one step. 16 and 20, I can divide both numbers by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. Pause this video to complete question 1 by yourself. Worksheet 8. Addition of fractions. Fractions with the same denominators are called like fractions. When we add like fractions, we never add the denominators. One third plus one third is equal to two thirds. One quarter plus one quarter is equal to two quarters. And very important, two quarters is equal to one half in its simplest form. Question 1. Calculate the following and leave all answers in simplest form. Pause this video to do so. Use the memo to mark your work and correct it by yourself. Question 2. Complete this question by yourself. Question 3. Complete each number chain. Complete this question by yourself. Worksheet 9. Subtraction of fractions. When we subtract like fractions, we never subtract the denominators. 2 thirds minus 1 third is going to give us 1 third. 3 quarters minus 1 quarter is 2 quarters and 2 quarters is equal to 1 half. Question 1. Leave all answers in simplest form. 1a. 2 quarters minus 1 quarter is 1 quarter. Let's look at b, the second one. 5 sixths minus 3 sixths is 2 sixths. Or in simplest form, one third. Let's look at C. One whole minus a half is a half. This is because one whole is equal to two halves, and two halves minus a half is a half. One whole minus a third, let's think, one whole is three thirds. And 3 thirds minus 1 third is 2 thirds. Therefore, our answer is 2 thirds. Lastly, 1 whole minus 2 thirds. We think 3 thirds minus 2 thirds is 1 third. Therefore, our answer is 1 third. Pause this video to complete question 1 by yourself. Use the memo to mark this entire worksheet.
Worksheet 9, Word Sums. Complete this question by yourself. Use the memo to mark and correct your answers once you are done.